Hi, this is Diane Chapman, and I finally got some time to read some of the manual for the Premier Plus embroidery software for the Modify module. So I learned a few tricks, and I wanted to show it to you. This is the main software, and there is a Modify section. I can't click it now because there's nothing on the screen. You'd have to select the item that you're going to modify. And you can do some pretty good modifying in this section. But in the Ultra and I guess the Extra version, you get um, a Modify module. And it just has more capabilities. So I'm going to open... This is one I've been working on. The first thing I'm going to do is rename it as a test. So in case I accidentally mess it up or save it, I won't mess up the one I had. Now all these C's mean that their color changes and the T's are trims when your machine will cut. The threads underneath, here's a zoom, you can use a zoom here, but I find this one to be easier. You can go in here and let's say you wanted to modify and add a trim here so that this line wasn't here. You can go into modify and insert a trim and you can click there. But it's real hard to see if you actually got it. So what you can do is um, if you click on it again, it's supposed to go away, but I discovered if you right click, it's easier. It makes it go away. So I'm going to go down here and bring it back to the normal size. And if you go into view, you can turn those commands off here so you can see things a little clearer. Although some will return to view when you're working on, like say, adding trims. You'll see all the trims that are there. But one of the things I used to do when I wanted to uh, see a particular color, like say I wanted to get rid of this line here, I would go in and delete all the other colors till I found what color that was. And then I'd go in and circle that one so I could just delete that little piece. But I recently discovered a much better way to do it. Down here, this will allow you to draw the next or previous color. So if I click on it once, let me zoom out so you could see, it's drawing the first color, which is this blue. So now I can zoom in and say I want to cut that out. I can go into modify and insert a trim command. There's one there, but if I put one here. Okay, it should have, there we go. So it deleted that line. And then there's a little bit hanging out here. This was a an image that I brought in with the photos, uh, the photo wizard. So if I go back to home and I go into free select, or even box select, I suppose it would work for these squared up ones. And I select an area and delete it it'll cut these little hangers out. But what if it really didn't matter if they were there or not? How can you tell what this is supposed to be in the whole image? Well, the cool thing is you can go here to the ghost feature, click on that. Now you can see what the image is supposed to look like with just that one color. And you can turn it off, go to the next one. Okay, here's another area where I don't know if it's going to show up or not. I can ghost it to see. And yes, yeah, see there's a trim, a jump. Now you might want to leave it and just trim it with your scissors afterwards, but that drives me nuts. And sometimes you get something that you can't cut, and I have to break out my magic markers and try to color it. So a better way is to turn off the ghost. I go to modify, trim, and I'm gonna add one here. Come on. 
Okay, now that was a lot. I was hoping I would hit one and it would just get rid of it. So maybe I can go up here and undo all those trims and maybe a better way to do it this time would be to go freehand maybe. It looks like there's four stitches actually. It's not really a jump. So I select that whole area and delete. Yep. And then they won't even be there so it'll automatically cut that. Oop, there we go. That's apparently had another line over it. So I'm going to click here and that gets rid of it. And I can see the ghost image looks a little cleaner. There's something going on here with some line. It might be a line underneath, but I'm going to find out by turning off the ghost and just and see now this line. Apparently there's some gray stitches and that goes right across there. And I don't need these because they're kind of screwing things up. So I'm going to because I'm seeing all these dots, it apparently is several stitches, so I'm going to go with erasing them. And this one, rather than putting in a bunch of trims, I'm just going to get rid of these. Where it apparently stitched from one section to the next. Now, like I said, this was an image brought in Okay, here's something weird. It was brought in from the photo wizard, so who knows what it picked up. Now, this is kind of lining up on the lettering, but it's not all the way around, so I'm just going to get rid of it. So I'm going to grab the box, go right here, and just delete that. And I don't know if that's necessary. Let's see what that little dot is. Nope, let's get rid of that dot. Oh, not quite. There we go. And then when you click here, it'll put everything back so you can see how it looks. And there's a little blurb here sticking out that I'm going to grab and delete. You can go for a single stitch. See if I can catch it. Oops. Okay, that cleaned up that little spot. And then there's some coloring here, so maybe this gray I want to get rid of in the black. So I can just keep going till I find those colors. And it appears to be that one. Yep. I don't want this. So I'm going to select get rid of that. So I just wanted to show you that you can make some edits fairly easily using the Modify module. And as I read and learn more, I'll share some other tips.